All right, everyone, welcome back. Um, I just wanted to take this time to show you guys how we're going to uh, to complete the other half of my intro to C++ final um, from, I don't know, a couple of years ago. Um, this is one where we're going to be doing something like this. I'll, I'll write out the program parameters real quick. We're going to select a number between 1 and 1776. We're going to output from our number, um, or no, we're going to actually count down from 1776 to our number, and then as the last part, we're going to print out the total average and I think I think that's all we do yeah we do the total and average um, of the numbers that we printed out so say we did uh, 1772 it would then print out uh, 1776 17 75 17 oh my god I'm having so many issues typing And then, you know, the average of that would clearly be whatever's in the middle there, um, 1774, and the total would be whatever those are all added up. So we're going to uh, to have three vari or four variables this time. Uh, we're going to have total, which can be type int. Um, we're going to have i, which uh, is always just our counter variable, choice is going to be our choice on where to start and uh, our, our double which is going to be average um, I just want to make sure that I'm on the right track here um, okay um, wow I don't have data validation for quite some time so I suppose that I'm going to kind of break my own rules and start on some simple data validation here too. Um, we've done this a little bit earlier, but I, I feel like I should have been teaching you this more since uh, I started our while loops. Okay, so first off we're going to say C out, no capital, sorry, bad English habits coming in to haunt me. Um, enter a number between 1 and 1776. And then we're going to cn for choice. And what we're going to do immediately after choice is we're going to set up a while statement. And we're going to say uh, while choice is less than 1 or choice is greater than 1776. Um, we're going to say cout please enter a valid value between 1 and 1776. Again, my apologies if I have difficulty orating while I'm typing. It's, uh, it's something I've never really been that good at. So now, if the user enters something that's not within that range, now, again, I know they can still break it if they enter in a number. We're not covering that until a bit later. Um, you know, they're going to Lord, I hate when it does that. Um, every now and again, this compiler bugs and it doesn't display what it should. Um, I'm still trying to figure out exactly why it does it. But it happens. It's nothing that a, a simple restart of the compiler won't solve. Um, so we're going to run it. And say we enter in negative 5. It's going to tell us that we have to enter in that value. You know, and until I enter something in between those two values, it's going to... Okay, well, that one, I crashed it because I used a number that was bigger than max int. So, again, there are definitely ways that you can still crash this. Um, I'm not denying that. I'm not, uh, I'm not even going to try to tell you that this is the most secure way to do things. But in this case, when we enter in a number that does fit, it works beautifully. 
and that's going to be our kind of goal. So what we want to do is now we want to count down from 1776 to our number. So we can use a for loop for this. Um, we're going to start at i equals 1776. Uh, i is greater than choice. i minus minus. And we're doing that because i is descending. And so what we want to do, um, I kind of want to initialize total to zero. It's just a good habit. And the same thing with average. Um, what we're going to do is, um, he wanted it output on the screen. And he wanted each one to have its own line and all that. Um, I'm going to actually change the way he did it a little bit. And I'm going to use iomanip. And uh, I'm going to put eight on each line. Or actually, no, I'll put eleven on each line. Um, and hopefully that'll look good. And so what we're going to do is see out i. Um, actually, we're going to do set w of 8 before each i. And then what we're also going to do is we're going to do uh, total equals... Um, you know what? We can use a, a different counter for this as well. Uh, we're going to make a j. We're going to just set that equal to zero. Um, so I'm just going to use j to count how many times we go through this loop. Now we could do this a different way. Um, we can just as easily set j right here uh, and just do, you know, j equals choice minus, or I'm sorry, 1776 minus choice. And yeah, you absolutely can do that. If you want to do it that way, that's fine. I just want to show you guys that we can just do it here by just doing J++. So, okay, our total, we're actually going to do that in a, a kind of easy way. And we're just going to do total plus equals I because every time it's going to go through, it's going to go past this right here. And so now, using this one little loop, we're going to be able to uh, to get everything we need. And so, here's what we're going to do. We're going to now, in one cout statement, uh, after everything else is gone, I'm just going to do an endl uh, to make sure that this is on its own line. I guess we'll do two, so we have two blank lines. Um, we're going to output all the data we just had. Um, let's say, um, numbers output, and now we're just going to call j by itself. Um, then we're going to say, you know what, I kind of want to put this on its own line. Um, total of numbers output. Now we're going to do spit out total. And again, we're going to end L. Um, I suppose I'll use another C out statement because I don't want to go too far off to the right because that might loop when I put it up on IDE1. I just I like things being very readable uh, to users. So then we're going to say um, uh, average of numbers output. And now we can compute this in average, um, or alternatively, we don't really need average. Um, there's a couple of ways we can do it. We can say total divided by j, or alternatively, we can just use avg equals total divided by uh, double j. And so that's going to hopefully give us what we want, and we'll just use average there, and another endl, and everything should be done. And we're going to give that a shot and see if it works. Uh, number between 1 and 1776, I'm going to say 1500. And so it prints out a very nice little thing here. We output 276 numbers, sounds about right. The average of the numbers output was 1,638. That sounds about right, too. 
uh, and the total, I'm not going to go through and check that, but I'm just going to assert that that's probably right. Um, now, I'm just going to wrap this up here. Um, there isn't really too much more I want you to take away from this. Um, just sort of take a real good look at how I did the total. Uh, this plus equal is a compound operator. Um, I mentioned those back in the single digit lessons. Um, those really just mean the same as this. Uh, er, sorry, total equals total. Oh my god. Plus i. So that's really all it means when I use that plus equals i there. Um, so every time, you know, we increment or decrement i here, it's getting added to our total. This set w of 8 is the reason why we have these nice little spaces in between our numbers. And j++ is really us just using a, a simple counter that every time it goes back to the top of the for loop, it's counting j. And that's how we're, uh, we're able to deduce how much to divide our total by. So again, this is you know just more of an exercise to show that you're in control of your program and you don't really need to know what your user is entering because you know we can force them to enter things like with this code right here to make sure they stay within certain parameters and if they're within those certain parameters uh, they're going to you know be able to be handled. Um, now I know that some people might kind of say, oh are you supposed to print out 1500? And we can if we want. We can just do greater than or equal to choice. Um, that's really more of a personal choice. Um, you can maybe consider it that way. Um, I suppose in my little markup I, I said it like that. So I guess I'll toss in an equal sign, and that'll be the last sort of modification I make. Um, now when I type in 1500, it'll come out with the 1500 there. And it's basically the same idea. So hopefully this has helped you guys out a bit. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'm sorry about every video I make being about 20 minutes long, or well, 15 minutes long even. Um, there's just so much to talk about, and I don't want to be vague about anything. I would rather be overly talkative than underly so. Um, if you have any questions, shoot them to me down below. I'll be more than happy to clarify. Um, subscribe up top if you want. I'm Damien, and I'm here for you.